One thing you have to tell yourself is like, when you do wake up in the morning, and this is advice to anyone who's going through the same thing is like when you wake up in the morning and you do want to start like your day on a better note, or like maybe you had a really bad day the day before or a bad night and you want to start the next day, like fresh or be like, I don't want to carry that over to today. How can I make today better? And you have that mentality. Um, that's great. Like, that's good. That's what you need to do because especially like someone like me that like I clinically was depressed at certain points in my life. I was, I'm the kind of depressed, like when I know I'm depressed, when I don't want to get out of bed in the morning, like that's when I know it's, I'm there. And when you have that carry over a day and another day and another day, luckily, like I have a little bit of self-control still to like kind of switch that. But, um, you, I think you need to not have such a high expectation either. So like when you go, so when you go into the day and you're like, oh, great day, like, just like how you said and how he said, oh, well, it doesn't mean you need to expect great, you know, like, yeah. oh, that the universe and the stars are going to all align just for you today. Like, no, right. it's, it's, you're going to have a good day. So like, yeah, maybe you have some little wins, like you ate a little bit healthier today, or you exercised today, or you, you know, whatever you did those little bits of self-love throughout the day. doesn't mean that you're going to get hired or get that interview or that call or whatever, or maybe you recorded something for your podcast or you had a, a po your podcast for your YouTube channel or, um, you or know, like we are. <laughs> yeah. Or like, I don't know, like your numbers moved higher on something like those are all little wins. It's just, yeah. I get, I get it. It's not the win that you're looking for, which is the job and the paying job. I get that. Yeah. I mean, it's just, listen, I think this is for everyone listening too. It's like, I, people don't talk about job hunting enough. They don't. It's still one of those things. Like we're super open about talking about mental health and therapy now, which like, yes, amazing society that this is important. It's so important. Mental health matters forever before this podcast. I was so afraid to ever talk about it and the, the issues that I was dealing with because I didn't want think, people to think I was broken or something was wrong with me. Mm. But now we're all talking about it. It is mental health month. Like totally. To, I'm trying to be more open to on my personal Instagram and social medias about it as well. Mm. But we don't talk about how job hunting affects your mental health. We, we don't because even on social, mm -hmm. even on LinkedIn, everyone's like writing their articles. Like I didn't get another job, but that's okay. Like that's oh, great. Really? Yeah, the job seen. hunting is so, I just, I don't know. They pop up because people like it, but I'm like, that's still mm -hmm. not realistic. Like it's not, people are pissed when they don't get a job or, or they're unhappy or they get depressed or, you know, some people go through a whole job process interview process. And then you're down to the final one and you don't get the job. And that is mm -hmm. devastating. It's such a low blow, especially because people haven't had jobs for a year, over a year now. 